Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Webox. And as you have got an idea from the title that we are gonna be covering all the maximum bootstrap classes that we can in this video. So before starting, I would request you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed us yet. And please do like and comment. So let's get started. First of all, we will go to Google, we can search for Bootstrap, go to Bootstrap website, there you will find the CDN link and we will just add it to our file. So here we go, let's create a new file, start the image, oh, let me save it. Forgot to save that lesson sex dot html hey let's use emmet and it's a great use of emmet emmet helps us develop websites very quickly so let's continue bootstrap so before the closing head tag we will just paste the Copied link that we got from the bootstrap website the, and also copy all the JS and proper files so that the files work properly it's not necessary it's totally dependent on what features you are using like in the last video I used the navigation bar and the jQuery slider so I needed these files for them to work properly so now let's continue let's save it and let's see what we are getting let me go back to the folder there you are it's lesson 6 ah, it's another file yeah here we are let me delete this so now if we let's try printing something this is bootstrap tutorial so we'll save and refresh and there we go and let's see some basic and awesome use of bootstrap classes let's get started so in bootstrap we have dev sorry for the typo ah oops oh i had my press and insert button pressed oh wait this is bootstrap tutorial and we will use the bootstrap class the class container and let's see you see it brings it well and nice gives it a very good margin ratio and we also have bootstrap fluid class which also do quite similar work there you the only difference between container class and our uh, container fluid is that container fluid covers whole window screen it can be responsive and in container we have a little lesser responsiveness so let's continue which one let's make this one a heading which one So now this is quite big, you must be able to see it properly. Let's add some classes to this. So H1 class primary primary text BG primary. Let's 
bt soy let's go back to bootstrap website check our documentation do we can find components here you will find many bootstrap classes how you can use it what's the good way of using it let's try this alert class let's save it let's try refresh and there you go you have a nice and beautiful text and alert just in front of it and change the colors we have some predefined classes like primary gives you blue secondary gives you gray success gives you green danger gives you red warning gives you yellow and after that info gives you light blue light gives you whitish color and the dark gives you grayish color you can use any of the class so let's try it in our code primary we'll change it with success let's go back there you go and we can use this classes like anywhere these are the color codes of bootstrap so you can even use it in the buttons button class let's give it a primary class and click here of course it's just static nothing is gonna happen with this so we have a button and we will go back to our bootstrap website and here we will find you can simply search it also buttons into it there you go so let's go back to our website here you can enter bgn bgn primary save it go back to your website refresh it and there you some see some change in the button it's not proper let me check just in front of you bgn bgn primary primary button type is button button type is of course to button let's save it let's go back refresh yeah so a button should be a button so that it can show us the css effect so let's try some another class there will give it a info class go back to our website refresh and there we have a nice new beautiful buttons with an alert added to our website there are many more bootstrap classes and components available i have shown in my another video on bootstrap also if you haven't seen it yet go and check it now i will show some of the bootstrap components in this video also let's try this card and let me copy it and go back to my code and paste it save it and go back to our website refresh it and you see a beautiful nice little content you can create beautiful cards with the help of these these are very helpful when you are just trying to create a very quick website and see it's that simple you can add classes to these card let's add the button class to this link we can begin primary let's save it go back to website refresh see let's give this one the same bgn bgn success it's gonna give us a green button and there you go 